Hey everybody, welcome to another Pops Comic Book Vault show. Today I'm going to show my Werewolf by Night comics and some of my Werewolf comics. This one happens to be a Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. That was mixed in there. I guess I put it in because it's the Beast Within concept. You know, the Beast Within. But here are the Werewolf by Night. I don't have the complete collection. I used to when I was younger. Number one started in 1972 by writer Jerry Conway and artist Mike Plug. He was my favorite artist on the series. He did a, quite a few of the earlier issues. If, I don't know if you can read that. But uh, the werewolf was always stalking people and um, ready to attack. Here's number two, number three, number four. I'm going to go through these in a row of them. Len Wine or Ween um, also wrote some of these. Mob Wolfman actually wrote number 12. Um, Gil Kane um, was uh, one of the artists on the book. These issues are my own issues. I'm missing a few issues. I just love this artwork. Michael Plug did Monster Frankenstein. So many other comics. Um, Jerry Conway, he wrote for everything. He wrote for Spider-Man and tons and tons of comic books. This is one of my favorites when um, um, The Werewolf by Night versus Dracula. Yeah, that's a beautiful um Michael Plug just, he was amazing. And as the series continued, I'll show you some others. Here's number 16. Um, Don Perlin, another artist on Werewolf by Night, he took it over for a while too. He was another great artist. And um, this is one of Don Perlin's covers right here. And also Doug Monick, who invented Moon Knight, he wrote for Werewolf by Night, and you know, um, there were so many different artists, but most of my favorites were Michael Plug and Doug, um, Don Perlin. Gil Kane did some of them. These are all artists that work for Warren Publishing, Marvel, DC, all the different publishing companies. And um, this is a, a Don Perlin cover right here. It was always a damsel in distress. But uh, these were very fun comics, very well written, great artwork. Now, is he going to save this little girl? Or is he going to kill her? That's kind of crazy, huh? That's a child's worst nightmare. Anyway, here we go. There's some more. I'm going to kind of show them a little more quickly. I know that someone told me to um, show them a, not as quickly. I did one of these pop comic book vaults about a year ago. And I was kind of really quickly showing the comics like that and then putting them down. So I'm trying to go a little slower, but I don't want the video to be that long, so I'm going to kind of show you these. The covers are just fantastic on these. Here he is. Here's giant size number four. He, he faces Morbius, the living vampire in this. Morbius was a Spider-Man villain. Started out as a Spider-Man villain. Of course, in Marvel Comics, there's a lot of crossovers. Now here's another Marvel uh, werewolf creature. This is Man-Wolf. Now Man-Wolf is Spider-Man's other nemesis and he's actually J Jaina Jameson's son. Yep. So anyways, I have some more Man-Wolves. Oh, here's one. Man-Wolf versus Kraven the Hunter. That's pretty interesting. Creatures on the Loose where the names 
of these comics. I can't pull the trigger. I can't. Yet if I don't, Christine will die. And the monster that will, that will kill her is my son. And there's uh, Jameson. J. Jonah Jameson shooting his own son. Now, his son was an astronaut and he got some sort of moonstone or stone from another planet and when he wore it on his chest he made a, a necklace out of it it impacted into his chest and it had these special powers that turned him into a a man wolf <laughs> not a wolf man a man wolf And I'll show you a few more, a couple more, Man Wolf, and one last one, the others are doubles. But anyways, I thought you guys would enjoy looking at some of my werewolf comics. Even a man who is pure in heart and says his prayers by night may become a wolf when the wolf bane blooms and the autumn moon is bright. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Pop's Comic Book Vault. And I have a companion video, I'm going to leave the link right up here, that goes with this video. It's on my Pop Art Productions channel. And it's all about werewolves. I hope you check it out. See you next time in Pop's Comic Book Vault. Children of the night, what music they make.